Um, we saw a young man changing clothes, okay. Um, where? In a room, basically, when seems rather contemporary. Um, how does this beginning, what does this beginning set up in a way? Um, apart from like the style, we didn't see any visible edits. There were edits when he's out of the frame to change the pacing a bit. Um, but what would we expect watching a film or watching a beginning of a film like this? Basically, the film is what um, is made up of 17, 18 single shots like this one. Um, it, what we saw with this young man trying, like we can see or we can like interpret that he is probably looking at something, probably looking at himself, trying on different clothes. Who of you has read the, what he had on his t-shirt? Who of you could read it? That's quite a lot. That's actually a super detail that is obscured for most of the time. But still, we pay attention to that little detail because the shot is very, very long. Like it's almost painstakingly long. Almost you could say it's a bit, maybe even a bit boring. If you, if you are more, expect something more action driven, this is not the movie. And you will know it after the first shot. You will be slowed down to the pace of the movie. And of course, this movie or this shot only does not like constitute the beginning of the film. This is just the first three minutes. But it gives you an idea of what to expect and that you have to closely look at the details. You have to closely look at how this young man connects and presents himself. Like he presents himself in front of himself, how he presents himself in the surrounding uh, society. Um, to, I would love to play a game like who thinks what the film is about, but I don't think. Um, or does anybody have a quick idea? What you would you like to share with us? Otherwise, I would just like give you this resolution. Yeah, please. I, I think it was his different expression uh, when he wore different uh, shirt and he was without shirt. Yes. He had a facial expression in him which was momentarily changing uh, with what I keenly observed. With the yes. Shots. Yes. So the facial expression was changing when he was wearing different clothes. Yeah. Um, you also could read the title, like at the end. I, Make sure you could read the title that the title is included. The title is Performer. Performer. So like this connects to this kind of, he's drawing on different clothes, like, uh, like different stories, or like actually it's one story he's going for. Um, the film is about a young man who wants to be someone, like someone, someone more, someone more masculine. And the story or the identity he chose for himself is that he's a school shooter. He does not school shooting, there's no school shooting in this movie. That's his identity. He tries to perform every evening alone at home in his place, trying to record his manifesto. And the film like traces that how these ideas, these misogynistic ideas and these ideas of violence are like trickling down from patriarchal society and the world where he's living in into this kind of amalgamate of uh, mad ideas. But like I said, it's like never nobody in his surrounding will ever know that he harbors these thoughts. It's just like he is trying to perform that, but he never like puts it in real life. This is what the film is about. And I chose this because I feel like these three minutes in its almost nothingness contain a lot of this already and can like really uh, set you on a path how to watch this movie. Um, the last thing, what this movie, um, what I have here on the slide is real, a realistic setting because this is like also a thing for this one that it's something you can see from, like we are in a standard room in a way. Also like the boy, there's, we don't expect dragons to fly around or we don't expect this world to have uh, a different rule set from what we have or what we experience in the world. Um, now I would like to come to uh, the ordinaries because the ordinaries doesn't have that. The ordinaries has its own world. Next slide, please. Um, I guess because the ordinaries is screened tomorrow, no, none of you has seen the ordinaries yet. Or is there anybody in here who's seen the ordinaries? No. Yes. No. No. Yes. Okay. No. Um, the ordinaries is uh, a story about this uh, young lady in yellow, um, and she's living in a world that is compromised of main characters, side characters, and so-called outtakes. 
and there's a strong hierarchy between these uh, in like from one group to the next the main characters are the privileged ones the side characters are tolerated and the outtakes are more like pushed to the side um and she has to find her way in this world so it's a world with its own rules it's like somehow a fairy tale world of what happens behind the screen or what happens in the filmic world in the world of film when the camera is not rolling like what do the characters in between that's a bit like the the idea or the original idea where the where the film is was coming from um and i would like to show you now the first uh the first rough cut we had um which is still sticking very very closely to the script um for the people who don't know what a rough cut is a rough cut is like the name suggests is very rough so all the things that we have as an option that were shot as an option all these motifs elements are still in the shot so something or in the shots something some scenes might seem like they're too long um some transitions might not work the acting might not yet be on point because it's still like all very rough just i would like to stress this because this is not the finished movie what you're going to see now this is just like a pre-version a draft um right after i would like you to see the same sequence again from the finished movie so you can compare and then we're going to talk about it a bit in detail 